Hello and welcome back to Husband and Wife Outdoor Life. Uh, Ashley here, Matt's over here in the tent. And today I'm here with my sister and we are doing another campfire cooking corner with Laura. Laura, what are we making today? We're making a cast iron peach biscuit roll. It's almost like a cinnamon roll, but you're adding peaches to it. Sounds delicious. Let's get started. Uh, we're gonna put everything that you need and the recipe in the description. So if you wanna follow along with that, it'll be right down there. First item that you have is the topping that goes with the cinnamon roll. It is one cup packed brown sugar, a quarter cup butter softened, so this is a bit more, but we'll cut it, and then three teaspoons ground cinnamon. Like usual, I've already pre-measured everything out so that you don't have to do that while you're here at camp. The next ingredient would be the dough. Uh, this is two cups all-purpose flour, two tablespoons sugar, one tablespoon baking powder, one teaspoon salt, three tablespoons butter, and then three fourths cup milk. Uh, then we're also going to add um, sliced peaches from a canned. Um, you're not gonna drain them quite yet because you're gonna use some of it. And then one cup of confectioner's sugar. The sugar you technically could put on top, um, but we're just gonna mix that right in the dough. <clears throat> All right, so our next step, we're going to be mixing the brown sugar section. So I grabbed a small bowl, like a cereal bowl. We'll just pour it in. This is the brown sugar, cinnamon, and butter. Oh. Pour a cup of butter. It'll be a half stick. Half a stick of butter. Okay. Also, hopefully at this point, you have a fire going. You're gonna need nice hot coals. The official taste testers have arrived. <laughs> nice shirt, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we are now just gonna mix together the brown sugar. A little might, mushy. Might need a fork. Might need a fork. Yeah, I need a fork. <laughs> this is how you do it when you're camping and not at home. <laughs> she needs fork. Okay, scratch the original cereal bowl. You need a bigger bowl. Go with a bigger bowl. Oh boy. Starting off great. Got a little tree berry. This is what it's supposed to look like. Is that the consistency we're looking for, Laura? Yep. Crumbly. Okay, Laura, what's the next step? So the next step is to sprinkle half of this crumbly mixture into the bottom of that cast iron. So we're gonna do that right now. What size cast iron? This is a 10 inch uh, cast iron Dutch oven. We went with an oven versus a skillet because it has the lid and we technically need our oven to be 350 degrees, baking degrees. And by oven you mean? Fire. Fire. <laughs> Fire. So if you're doing this at home, you could put it in a cast iron skillet, preheat your oven to 350 and put the skillet in, but we need the Dutch in order to create the oven atmosphere. So we're going to add half of this no, just eyeball it. No need to. Okay. Are you going to spread it out? Yes. Should look a little bit like that. It's kind of the consistency of beach sand. Mm -hmm. Wet beach sand. Okay, Laura, our next step is. Our next step is to make the dough. This is where we're going to add the mixture from this and the milk together. So we're gonna pour in this. We also have to add the butter. The butter was three tablespoons of butter. So we are mixing the butter in right now? Mm -hmm. Just trying to make sure there aren't any large clumps of it. That's kind of your final product right there. That's what it should look like. And Next, we're gonna add the milk. We are going to be using just a water bottle that we have on site to measure it out. And this is also going to be dual purpose as our rolling pin as well too. Camping. Use camping. What you got. Camping. There you go, camping. All right, so this takes three quarter cup milk or inside this water bottle, six ounces. We're using a milk substitute due to a lactose allergy in the group. 
so you can substitute almond milk. This is a no yeast recipe, so it should be a lot simpler. There are plenty of yeast cinnamon roll recipes out there that are amazing. They just take a longer amount of time and it's tougher to prep for them. Uh, Go simple when you're camping. When you're camping, so I found a recipe that does not require it. Okay, the final product on the dough should look something like that. Okay, she's using a little flour just to roll out the dough here. Just gonna hand knead it for a minute and then roll it out. You wanna make somewhat of a rectangle, you know, because you're gonna end up putting the toppings and such on this. This tablecloth clean. Ish. The next step is to pour that reserved topping onto the dough that you just rolled out. And we'll spread it evenly like we did in the skillet. Okay, the next step is to drain the peaches. We're gonna reserve the glaze. We're not just gonna throw it away because we're gonna use that as a drizzle over the top. So, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You are gonna chop these peaches also to make them a bit easier to lay flat inside of here and roll. If you do not have a knife, I guess you could leave them whole. I mean, not much to drain here. You know what, I think I bought the wrong peaches. <laughs> I wonder if I'm supposed to buy canned peaches and not peach pie filling. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Too late. Go with the float. Okay, we don't have canned peaches. We screwed up. We bought the wrong kind, but we're gonna make this work anyway. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put them in a bowl and try to chop them up a little bit. Yeah, it's peach pie filling. Okay, so she's just lightly chopping the peaches after chopping, it should look something like that. The next thing we're gonna do is just pour this onto the topping and spread it evenly as possible. Now that you've spread it out pretty much evenly, we're going to roll it and then cut it and then place it in our prepared pan. Pray. <laughs> <laughs> we hope it comes off the tablecloth. <laughs> this side's looking like it will. You're gonna pinch it shut with your seams. You know, do the best you can, it doesn't have to be perfect. Next I'm just gonna cut it and then we're gonna place it in the pan. So I'm just gonna cut maybe about one inch pieces here. into one inch pieces. And we'll just keep stacking them in there. Okay, time to put it on the fire. Okay, we got it on the fire over some somewhat indirect heat. Okay, you wanna put some coals on top to give it a little heat from the top as well. All right, that's, that's probably about good for now. How's it look? Getting there.
about 10 minutes in. So we're gonna look see. Maybe. Ooh, looking good. Getting a little toasty though. The bottom, you can see. We'll pull it off and do a bit more indirect and some stuff on top. There we go. Cool. It's, they're not acting doughy. What do you think, Ma? Five minutes? Done. Looks pretty good. Let us know how she tastes. Okay. You get a five star rating. It might be hot. <laughs> mm, delicious, girls. Five stars? Five stars. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want the wah! <laughs> Probably should have washed that water bottle out. Biker, hold on. Oh, it was damp. <laughs>